Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the triple LED trailer light. This is a really nice slim profile light for the back of your trailer or RV or motorhome. I think this is a really nice looking light and it's very low profile. It's also an LED light so that's always going to be nice that you don't really have to worry about any kind of maintenance over time. Those LEDs are really long lasting, give you a nice bright light without taking too much power. Uh, definitely less power than a typical incandescent bulb of the same brightness. So can make a really nice upgrade for any kind of vehicle that you're putting these on. I also like how slim this is because it's really going to hug the back of your RV and probably won't have any issues or too many issues with getting caught on anything or getting nicked and having that lens housing crack. Uh, some bigger housings can be kind of bulky. They can kind of look cool, but they can also just sort of be a magnet for any kind of branch or just swinging door or something to crack into them. So this being so low profile, I kind of like that. It makes me feel a little bit better about it. As far as being a light, you really don't have to worry about. Now, one thing that customers have noted with this, and I noted as well when I got this, is that it does not come with any instructions. So I'm gonna show you how to wire this up. It's pretty simple. It does have a little key on the back of the light housing itself. It's pretty easy to miss, um, but it does tell you the stop is red, tail lights, black, reverse, purple, ground is white. It's probably gonna be different than your motorhome. It seems like there's always an issue with that of wire colors never matching anything else. So I'll go through that with you real quickly. The red and white, or red and black wires, there's gonna be two of each. That's to correspond to the two red portions. So you can wire those separately or you can just wire them together. That's what I chose to do just for simplicity's sake. It really doesn't matter. It just kind of depends on if maybe you wanted um, only one light to be your turn signal. You could choose that to just not wire the other one. So it really just depends on how you want to do it. But I'm going to connect ground to the white wire. And then my 12 volt power or running light circuit will go to the black wire. The red wire is your brake signal and your turn signal. And then the purple wire I'm gonna leave for now, but that's our reverse light, which I'll show you in just a second. So with everything plugged up, turn it on. And ta-da, you can see our tail lights come on there. It looks really nice. Turn the lights out in the studio, you can see a little bit better how that looks in the dark. And then if I hit the brakes, it gets brighter, and that's going to be the same if you're using that for your turn signal as well. So really nice bright light there. And then I'm going to tap the purple wire to my power so you can see how bright that is. Also really nice bright light in the center there to give you that visibility while you're trying to back up. So all in all, pretty simple to do. Again, as far as these lights, just try to take one apart and see how that does. But just with one on, there you go. So those two wires just correspond to those two different lights. Again, I would just probably bundle them together like I did. I stripped back the wires, all of the wires, a little bit further than they already were. They do come pre-stripped, but I went back about a half inch. Uh, especially if you're going to be putting these together, it makes it easier. And then you can kind of fan out the wire and mesh them together and then twist them up. I would also suggest getting some butt connectors for this, some heat shrink butt connectors, since this is going to be a connection made outside the vehicle, or um, it's going to be in the back of your RV and it could be exposed to water and things like that. Um, I would probably get the yellow heat shrink butt connectors or the 10 to 12 gauge heat, heat shrinks. That way it can go over these two wires because this I think is about 14 gauge wire. So, um, that would probably fit pretty well over that connection for the two of them. Just for these two, you'd be fine with the blue butt connectors or the 14 to 16 gauge butt connectors. And you can find all of those here at eTrailer.com, all those butt connectors, um, the heat shrinks and just a regular, but I would suggest going with the heat shrink. It does need a heat gun to do, but they just give you a really nice watertight seal.
In the back of this connection, you might be able to see there's some kind of potting material, so that's going to seal up that connection, so there's really no worries about any water getting into the light housing itself. It's going to be very nice and durable. So now let's talk about measurements. It doesn't come with any mounting hardware. That is something you're going to have to pick up on your own, which isn't awesome, but it happens. So it's about 14 inches tall and then about six and seven eighths inch wide and the light is about really maybe a half inch thick but with this little knob where the wires all come out it's more like an inch so you'll probably need to cut out a hole to allow that to go in and that little spot is about an inch and an eighth, maybe an inch and three sixteenths in diameter. So you might need to have a little hole saw or punch out a hole there to allow that to go through and not cause any issues with that. Give you some measurements here of the mounting holes as well. So if you already have a light that kind of looked like this, you can see if those holes match up. So going roughly center to center, it's about 13 inches apart, more like 12 and 7 eighths. And then from side to the middle hole, it's about 16 and a half, or excuse me, 6 and a half inches from the side to the middle. And then top to bottom, looking at about 6 and a quarter. Again, I'm trying to go to center to center. It's kind of hard to see. And it looks like these holes are all about an eighth of an inch in diameter. This does meet all DOT and SAE certifications, so it should be able to be out on the road with no issues. It's assembled in the USA and is covered by a one year limited warranty. It has a nice polycarbonate lens and base. That foam backing helps to provide a little cushion so it shouldn't have any kind of issues with water getting into that connection. And then again, with that potting material, you should be good. That's pretty much it for our look at the triple LED trailer light. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right light for you. I think it's a really nice one, so I hope you do too. Thanks for watching.